Good afternoon, welcome to DCC Train Automation. Um, we've been asked how to set a shuttle up within iTrain by a customer. So I thought I'd do just a little quick video to show you how to do it. We have a little demo layout here, which we use to show all the equipment. Um, it has three blocks, one here, one in this siding and one in this siding. So we'll better set up a shuttle from block A to block B. That's all we're gonna do, okay? I have detection in each block. I have detected my turnouts, but you don't need to do this. So the turnouts will show on our iTrain program as occupied when it's driving over the turnout. And then I've got another detection point in block B. So that's what we've got set up. I'll now show you within iTrain how to make it shuttle from A to B, pause, and then go back again to A. That's all we're gonna go through today. So here is our plan in iTrain. Each block is named. So if we look at this one here, this block is called, if I go to right click properties, it's called block B1, okay? The one to the left is called B3. So we know the names of the two blocks. The first thing you would then do is go edit, train routes. And in here, I've actually already created a small shuttle, but we'll do a new one. So we go new, iTrain uses names for everything. So in here, we'll just call it shuttle. And I'll call that two because we've already got shuttle one. Okay. Um, so what do we want to do? Okay, so in this next window down here, we go append. And now it gives us the option to add in a block name. So this is where we want to start the shuttle from. So if we go into the block list and we say, we want to start in block B1, it puts that into the list. Next thing we want to do is we want to say where we want to go to. So append and then choose the block we want to go to, B3. Now at B3, we could have options to stop or just to go straight back. So you have a window down here that says wait. If you want it to wait there, increase this to the amount of chance that it waits. So I'm going to put it on 100% so it makes it stop. And then for the period of time we wish it to stop. So from a minimum amount of time to a maximum amount of time. Okay, so now we've literally, it will drive from there, from B1 to B3, stop and wait. If we left it like that, that would end the route. If you wanted to go back to B1, you go append and then choose B1. The last item in the list of routes always has to be a wait item. So you must put a wait on that last item. Again, the amount of time you want it to wait, um, minimum and maximum. So this is, we've created our route, so it would shuttle backwards and forth. So that if we left it as it is there, it would just do it once. If we go to the options tab, here, see it says repeat once. So you can tell it how many times you would like it to repeat. So you could just do it five times and it would play that out five times and then stop the loco in the last block that was in the list we just created. If you just wanted it to continue forever, you would go to zero and it would just keep shuttling all the time. So if you had a little service you wanted to shuttle all the time whilst your layout is on, you could put this to zero. You could then maybe extend the wait times um, for how long it's at the stations. So rather than have five seconds like I have, you might say, okay, I want it to wait there an hour or 10 minutes, or you can change this to whatever suits your scenario. That is how you create a route in iTrain. Once you've created your route, you need to assign that route to the train that is going to be driving that route. So if we go to in iTrain 5, um, this is what we're using here. At the bottom here, we have train, locomotive. So if we go to the train and you right click over the image 
and you go to the properties of that train. In here, under the routes tab, you can tell it which routes, routes are available to that train. So select the one you want, deselect the one you don't want, okay? They can still be active, but if it's not selected, the train can't use it. So you press OK. Then underneath the train logo, you go down, you'll see it says route. In the drop down list, you can then choose the route you wish that train to use. Okay, so now that train has been selected. And if you were to now press the play button and it was in one of those two blocks, the route would start and run its duration. And that would be it. So now we can see that the train is in the block and the block is illuminated for where the train is. If we then, under the train um, tab, there's a play button. If you press play there, click on it. Ours is starting the sound up because that's an option. To, when the train starts a route, it turns the sound on. You see it's selected the route, it's gone yellow. As it goes into that last block, it goes red, slows and stops. It then waits there for the period of time you have selected. So it will wait and you'll see in the block symbol, it's yellow and it's timing down for the amount of time. You can also see it in the throttle. It tells you 14 seconds, 12 seconds left of the amount of time it's waiting. Once it's cleared, it will set a route and go back the other way. There we go. And that will just play out forever. If you wish to stop the route, you can stop it wherever you like. You just, where it had the play button is now an X. You click on the X, it stops. I've got it set so when you stop the route, it shuts the, the train sound down. This is how you create a shuttle within iTrain 5.